as he is, so are we in this world. Powerful scripture. As he, speaking of Christ, as he is, so are we in this world. Let me see Dake's notes. What a rebuke to those who hold that men cannot live victorious over the world, the flesh, and the devil. That's, that's Dake's notes. What a rebuke to those who teach that men cannot live in victory over the world, the flesh, and the devil. I am born of God, and then you can put parentheses, I've been born to victory, born to win. I was born to victory. Hey, Mary in Boston, good to see you. I was born to victory over the world, the flesh, and the devil. That's why as much time as you hear us spend on Bible prophecy, you notice it has a happy tone and a joyful tone, and I'm not some depressed uh, uh, person on Christian broadcasting that the world's taken over and the Illuminati and the CIA. I don't care what they're doing because any plan man makes, it cannot subvert the church, the child of God. I've been born of God, and in being born of God, I'm born to victory over, over what? The world, my own flesh, which is my main enemy, and the devil. The devil's under my feet. My flesh is under subjection to my spirit, and the world can't take me down. Ask Daniel, ask Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego on down the line. That's the story of this whole book. It's major powers making a plan to destroy and kill children of God. And by faith, they overcame them. I'm born of God, which means I'm born to victory. Now let's focus on that first part. I'm born of God. What's the opposite to that that you hear in church most often? How many of you know I'm, we're just humans, you know? We're all humans as long as we're in this human body. I'm in a human body, but our identification is not our human body. Paul spoke of his human body as if it were another person. I keep my body under subjection. He didn't speak about himself as, as identifying with the flesh. I keep my body under subjection. One day I will lay this earthly tent down. He spoke as, a, as an earthly tent. So if they get you to believe and confess your humanity, then you will struggle like a mortal man. You have to believe and confess. Your confession matters. Without confession, you can't be saved. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Your confession is not your humanity. Your confession is who the Bible, I'm born again. I'm who I am in my spirit. I am born of God. I identify with Christ. I can do all things because Christ strengthens me. I'm born to victory. I overcome the world, the flesh and the devil, because I've been born of God. I'm not a human being trying to live like God. God lives on the inside of me, and his life is on the inside of me. And so it's not an effort to try to be like what I am. It's not an effort to try to be like what I am. I am born of God. 